This one's going to be on comics. I talked about this in the past, but uh, there's this cool feature in there that I didn't know about. Uh, maybe it's new or just new to me, but um, uh, this is comics. And basically, it reads comic books. Um, that's all it does. Uh, I like how they hide this, this feature, though. You see how you go to files and there's uh, libraries here, right? And when you open this, uh, you can you can actually uh, you know manage all your um, comics or mangas in here, which uh, is what I was looking for. And I already like comics, but this feature is uh, even make it make it even better, you know. Uh, so if you want to uh, add in your own uh, comics uh, into this um, library feature, uh, all you gotta do is down here, which is add books. And um, let, let's say we add something in. Um, right, what I got here. Star Wars. All right, so I add that in. Um, now you can change the names of it. Let's say you want this one, since this is gonna be Star Trek only, or is it? No, I mean Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars, I mean. And um, open, and it'll load it in. Now this one supports uh, CBR, CBZ, CBT also. So that's zip files, uh, WinRAR files, and tar files. Uh, it doesn't support um. 7 zip for, for uh for that matter though. I'm not sure the reason why. <clears throat> but you see how it has uh, Star Wars and it has the, the issues inside it, which I like. I dig it. And you can actually search uh within here too. Uh you know, if uh you can't find it really quick. Change the cover size. Dig that. Now, I like I like what I like about this is that you can just um double click on it and um you know, you you get to uh, load up um, the comic really quick. So if I double click on uh, one of this, you see how it gets rid of the the library and at the same time loads the pages uh, for that comic issues. Dig it. Uh, they have some uh, different views here. Uh, it's pretty common on all the you know the the comic thing. Uh, they have the height, which is what we are right now. Um, the width here and the best fit. And the the, the manual. <clears throat> uh, so that's all they got. And then they have this other one where it says a uh, a dual page. You know, you have two pages. And they have this one. Uh, I think it's good for Japanese people where they have the manga mode because they read from uh, right to left. And uh, for most of us, you know, left to right. Uh, so that's what they got. And this other feature in here that's pretty cool also is um what is this? edit archives um, <clears throat> basically you get the option of uh, let's say you have a comic and the page is out of order and you want to uh, you know page 17 18 whatever you want to uh, replace that uh, all you do is drag it to the right order you know whatever it is pretty much drag and drop and then after that you can uh, save it as right here and um, <clears throat> you know give it a new name or something and that's all you gotta do. Uh, so that's pretty much it for that. But basically, I like uh, the library feature. Now, the thing I don't like about the library is, um, well, it's missing something in my opinion. So let's say uh, I know in Rhythm Box where you have, um, you know, your music collection. And if I don't like that music anymore, I just send it to the trash can, uh, which you cannot do that in here. Let's say you want to delete this. Uh, you can't really. You can move, remove it from the collection or the library, but that's not deleting it. That's just uh, removing it from uh, comics, not removing it from the hard drive, which is what I, I think that they should have. Okay. Uh, other than that, I like it, and I'm gonna use it to, um, you know, organize my comics and my mangas. And if you want to read something, uh, I recommend go reading The Walking Dead because that thing is pimp ass. Okay. Uh, so that's it.